Tucked into the downtown core is a tight community with a tough image that's undergoing big change. Alexandra Park is in the middle of a sweeping revitalization, and this year it marks its 50th anniversary. That has residents planning a huge party. We caught up with a few of them to hear their stories and get their take on the change. Frankie lived there. It's kind of like we'd walk up and down here every day. The memories are endless around every corner. We learned to ride our bikes right here. Knew everybody's name and every door, what color of doors they lived at. They grew up here, best friends for as long as they remember. I'm Ina Papp. My mom was pregnant in that house with me, right? So it's hard to see that. And we were the first family that moved in there. There was sand in the basement. My grandparents came from Hungary. They escaped the revolution and there was sand in our basement with chickens. You know, the chickens running around and that was dinner, you know? Yeah. So yeah, we started, we started from scratch. And I'm Kylie Fleming. This is my family house. This is the first house my grandmother and her six kids moved into. Um, that was our first bed, that was my bedroom. Back then, the Alexandra Park they knew didn't look like this. Where you grow up shapes so much of who you are. Right. How did this place shape you? I, you know, the thing is, like, <laughs> growing up here, I didn't know that we lived in the, the projects. We kind of did have it tough. There was drugs, there was addiction, there was, you know, crime, there was violence, there was all those things. But I felt like I never felt more protected in my life living here. You know, you could be on Queen Street and be worried looking over your shoulder, but as soon as you stepped on Vanali Walk, you were safe. Because you knew that everybody was making sure you got to your door on time or got there safe. Something that maybe only makes sense if you lived here. Alexandra Park is a maze of social housing running between Queen and Kensington Market. It often makes the news not for the right reasons. Over the years, an inevitable evolution, new neighbors and new ideas of community, then a total reimagination. It's always been about the residents and, and the Alexandra Park co-op and, and, and uh, the vision they've had for a better city and a better neighborhood. A 15-year project knocking down the old building the new. When you first heard about the revitalization project, what did you think? I thought that we were getting played. Kathleen Souza has lived here almost her entire life. It's my dad, my sister, my brother, my sister, and I'm in the belly. I just happened to get the house next door to the one I grew up in. Now she faces a crossroads, start over somewhere else or stay. There will be so many new faces and so many new families and condos. And it's not going to be the project anymore. It must be a little bit sad. It is. Because when you walk by a house now, you can say, remember what we used to do in that backyard? Or, you're not going to be able to do that. Like It's just so many memories and it's just getting wiped away. It's hard to see our houses come down and I feel like, you know, with each part of the, the, the revitalization, you know, it kind of takes a piece of our history with it. And, but I'm excited for the, the new opportunities for people in the community. Kylie and Ina don't live here anymore. They put themselves through college and Kylie came back. She's a youth worker at the local community center. This is where I'll have our t-shirts for sale and our mugs and tickets for the dance. They're part of a small but mighty committee of residents, past and present, planning a huge homecoming. It's really important to us to have something positive come out of the community and, and bring that to, to light because that's what we're really trying to celebrate is you know, the goodness and the oneness and the wholeness that comes out of this place. And a lot of people don't understand that, that don't live in this, that haven't lived in this community, but they don't understand, you know, it really is about, it takes a village. It takes a village and they are proof of the that. So the Back on the Block reunion party right. is August 13th. That's a Saturday. And it's an open invitation to everyone right across the city. And I knew you have connections there. I think there. that I might go to that party. I covered a lot of stories in that neighborhood, as you said, both good and bad. And what always touched me, that the people there were all really good people mm -hmm. and you had a few people causing problems for them but I'm so happy that they're doing this and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna go to that party Shay. yeah they're expecting like thousands of people and a it's a lot all, of people have passed through there yes it's all resident driven so they've been fundraising for a long time there's gonna be games for the kids barbecue and then a big dance party I at heard night. they're gonna dunk some police officers <laughs> yes. in the dunk tank too. exactly good story thank you for that